A great big hello to you, my friend. Welcome back to episode of Rising World on the Radio Man 03. And as always, it is uh, tremendously awesome to have you along. I am working on a chicken coop right now. Thanks to your patience in telling me it's uh, <laughs> NPC, NPC and not just N. We're making these boards a little bit odd here. Uh, click. And one more right here. We're gonna shrink that one down a little bit. Uh, no, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna leave it just the way it is and bring it down to just a hair like so. Boom. We're making a little chicken coop. There's the entrance for the chicken coop. And then we've got a back wall here, a side wall on the chicken coop, and we're gonna get a few chickens going today. And we're going to try to use the uh, the command. You guys have explained it to me numerous times. I finally get it. <laughs> It's just amazing. It's just amazing. I know. And then let's spread these out a little bit. Uh, yeah, there we go. And one, maybe one more. That's going to overlap down there. So let's come back with it a little bit. We're going to do that right there. And then we're going to come down here and we can just add a couple more to it. Boom. And how are we doing on the end here? We probably don't even need one on the end, but uh, we'll go ahead and do it anyways. Yeah, just like so. Bam. You know, it's just a little chicken coop, right? Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, we got to spread, turn the board around. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. I'm getting the hang of this, finally. I'm sure you guys are happy to hear that. <laughs> the barn is just about complete, I'd say. It's, 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 it's really close. It's very, very close. And we got to stretch each one of these up just a little bit as we go to get it fit in there and we could put a nice little piece of trim up there if we want to uh, I don't know that it's really necessary due to the fact that this is just a chicken coop but uh, chickens would be pretty important back in back in this time you know chickens would be uh, a meat source an egg source I mean they're they're an important animal back in these days uh, let's see not to mention they are today as well Ooh, no we need the saw all the uh, equipment has been moved outside and that should get us right there. Well, let's just keep on going with them we're gonna need a bunch We'll go down to 70 here. Boom, there we go, perfect. Uh, so we're gonna put a little fence around this and we're gonna spawn in some chickens. As soon as we get done with this, we're gonna slap up a fence real fast and, and uh, get some chickens in here. And can I go up one more with that? I sure can, there we go, beautiful. It's not too bad. It's well worth the patience and the time to do it this way. You get, I think, a much better look to your buildings if you take your time and just do it the right way. We're going to do that one right there, and we're going to come up a little bit. Yeah, that's, it's, not, it's not airproof. Now, typically, we would have some roosts in here for the chickens to uh, roost on. But we don't really have... I, I don't know that it's necessary to put something like that in there. And control and up it. Let's see here. We got enough up a little bit more. There we go. And then one more of these guys right over here. Just to kind of fill this in a little bit more. Like so. And boom. How are we doing? We, we did okay all the way around. We sure did. Awesome. 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 Okay. Now let's come back with these little beams here. And we're going to go like so. Oh, we got to bring that back one more. And all the way around like a loop to loop. And we're going to go right up here like this. And let's control that for a second and see just how that looks. Looks to me like it's pretty darn good. We're going to snap that one into place right there. And we're going to come around and we're going to do the same thing over on this side right here. And pop. There we go. Boom. Chicken coop. Chicken coop taken care of. Uh-huh. And now we've got to get the uh, chicken coop pen itself put in. You know what? I think what I want to do, let's get this scaffolding out of here. I've been using a lot of scaffolding. We've got plenty of these blocks right here. We're going to use these guys to kind of mark out where our fence posts are going to go. I don't know how big of a fence post we're going to need. So we're going to come out. Let's come out three. Three, yeah. And then let's go three this way. And this is going to give us a nice little base to put these on. Oh, uh, boy, that's going to bring us out here a little ways, isn't it? Uh-huh. That's okay. We're going to go three. And let's... Oh, Wasabi just came flying through here. I don't know if you heard that, but she is excited about life. And she's just going... Oh, she just went... Watch it, girl. You're going to unplug my mic. 
<laughs> and sometimes, you know, I get home and these guys are just like, woohoo, dance home, yeah. And they just get to, they get to going. We're going to right click some of this and bring it up a little bit, hopefully. I know it's bringing the ground, the earth up. It's a little bit harder than bringing the earth down sometimes. We got really nothing for it to grab hold of here, do we? No, we do not. All right, let's go one, two, and three. Okay, that's going to work. And then one, two, three. Oh, look at that. Perfect. All right, awesome. Okay, so back to our posts. We can fix that grass up, no problem. We're going to have to come through here and do all kinds of landscaping work, which I'm really looking forward to. So I've been kind of trying to hustle on getting the buildings done, you know. I really have. And let's get this fattened up a little bit right here. Uh, maybe not quite that big. And let's get our grid up. We're going to go ahead and put this first one right up against the wall there. But the rest of these guys are going to go right in the middle. Oh, it's, we're, we're, we're way too tall with these. What am I doing? We don't have chicken wire. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, do a nice tight fence to keep the chickens in. So yeah, that should be tall enough right there, I would think. And back to the grid so we know what we're doing. We got two and a half. Is that even is that even in the center? Yeah, it looks like it's in the center. That's good. Okay, perfect. Do we need to bring this in even see? Yeah, we need to go to the smallest grid we can. And pop that one in there. And this is real important to get these right. Otherwise, you gotta come back and change them around. That one there might not be in the correct spot. I'm hopeful that it is. And we're going to go right in the middle back here like so. Awesome. Okay, and then we're going to spin this around. And we're going to make this nice and thin. Yeah, nice and thin like so. Stretch that out. And let's do control on that. Let's make sure that's not going through the wall. Looks like the sun is about to go down, so we're going to have to take a sleep as well. we got to put a floor in today in here, too. Uh, and I added ladders right here, just so... Come on now. Oh, i got to keep the jump button pushed. All right, I, I put ladders in here just so we can get in and out of this inner area where the cows and pigs and stuff are going to be allowed to walk in and out of. And then we've got to put a wood floor down here for our workbench and stuff to sit on. Mm-hmm. We spare no expense. No expense. And control. And now that we've got those two in, we can come back with this guy right here. Um, so do we want to go all the way down to the bottom with that one? No, let's not. Let's go. Let's bring it up just a little bit. And we're going to shrink this up. And then it should be good to go for the rest of them. This length right here. There we go. Am I out of these? I am. I'm out. Great Scott. We're out. We don't want to be out of those. Uh, wood beams. There we go. I've gone through so many of these. Uh, but it's uh, a lot less mistakes happening right now. A lot less mistakes. Which makes me really happy because I'm getting more done, of course. And that's just great. Can I hit... Uh, that will snap it right into place. Awesome. Very, very good. Very good. And we'll spin this around. And let's grab our grid again so we get this first one in place at the right spots. And like so. And I think we're good to go. Uh, let's take the grid off and just hit... Oh, that one's a little short. Look at that. Now, why would that one be short? Hmm. Interesting. Turn, return, stretch it out a little bit. Hit control again, and let's take a look. Boom. Okay, beautiful. All right. Let's uh, let's take a quick sleep. Whoa, whoa, over the water. Ooh, we should have drank some of that water. Ah, uh, the well. I'm gonna fix the well up too, so it looks more like a well now that I've got this building stuff all taken care of and figured out. Uh, things are much, much, much better for me right now. I'm extremely happy with. Uh, the building process. It, it, it goes so much smoother now that I understand how things work. 
I say that every episode, but this time I really do believe that um, <laughs> I've actually got it. Now that we're on episode 14, I believe we have uh, we have arrived in terms of the building. Ah, look at that sunrise. That glorious, glorious sunrise. Indeed. Yes. I've also expanded the corral a little bit. Uh, we want to be over here and point this right over to here and hit enter and it should snap that bad boy right into place. And there we go. Excellent. It's okay if it comes through a little bit. Oh, okay. This was the post that I had incorrect. Let's get this post fixed. We'll get that post fixed up. Uh, stand this back up. Fatten it up a little bit. Uh, how far do we go with that? That's uh, doesn't look quite right, does it? No, it's one too big. There we go. And let's hit our grid and get ourselves right in the center here. How tall are these? Have to measure all this stuff out again. There we go. That's good. And it looks like we're going to be good right here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. And then, okay, let's uh, flip that around and around and down we go. And that is about the right size. Yeah, that does look like the correct size. Trying to hurry. I want to build with you guys on screen screen so you can see what's going on. I want you to be a part of all of this. Uh, I think it's good that you see some of my struggles. That post is not long enough. It's sunk down into the ground. Dang it. All right. Down you go. Look at it sink down in there. I don't want it to do that. I do not want it sinking down in there. That is just crazy. The grid. Why does it want to do that? If I hit control. See what I mean? By making a mistake, it, it, it just... Um, grid off. No, I can't pull it back up out of there. Uh, let's just stretch it up a little bit and we'll see what we got. And we'll do something like that right there, I guess. There we go. That'll work. That'll work just fine. Okay, and control. All right, beautiful. We're back on track. Hope everyone's having a great day. I think I said that already. I am. I, it's it's my longer day at work, as usual, my Thursday. Come on now. No, no, no. Wrong way. There we go. And pump it up one more. Is that the correct size for this here? No, that is one too big. We want to come down one with it. There we go. And stretch. And control. Let's make sure we're lined up here okay. I don't think it would really matter. I think... Being this precise with it is probably not a good idea. Uh, control. Nope. Control. We've got to turn that grid off and shrink this down. And slide it over. And now we should be... There we go. Now we are back on track, ladies and gentlemen. And grid... So, there we are. I believe we could turn that grid off now and just hit return and it should snap these guys right into place. Here's another long one. It's so that's so bizarre that it does that. Hmm. There we go. That'll work. That works just fine. Okay, so there's our fence. Now we need our planks. And we're going to do these guys pretty spread out. I think what I'd like to do 
Yes, yeah, so have them go into the ground just a little bit like that. So let's start here and here's the cow. I love that. Uh, can we spread these out a little bit wider? Maybe we should make these a little bit thinner too. Like that, and then shrink them down. And then maybe we can do this this way here. No, I don't want them. I don't want them quite like that. I want them down here on the ground. Okay, that's perfect, right there. And then shrink that down a little bit, and then we're gonna come across, across with it all the way down to the end here. I don't think the chicken shouldn't be the chicken should not be able to get out of there, but we should still be able to see them. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to be out of wood. Let's get some more of those, a bunch more of those. It's going to be very expensive. Very expensive indeed. That's it. That's the lumber. It's used. It's spent. Makes for a nice little picket fence, though, I think. Oh, wow. We've used all that up already. Oh, 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 oh mama. All right. More wood. More wood. That's okay. We've still got... We've got... We've got a pretty good supply of wood left, 64. That's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to chop down some trees over the weekend and get things going. Uh, no inventory. We want to go to crafting, and we want lumber. We're going to just max that out. I don't even mess around with it anymore. I just max it out. It, it just uh, works much better that way. Mm -hmm. Let's go down to 200 on this one here. And then we've got, we'll have got. we have some for the floor inside the building, too. Although I think I'm going to use a different... Uh, no, I think I'll probably use this wood for the floor. Probably will. Oh, 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 nope. Lumber here. There we go. All right, beautiful. Now, why are you being like this? Uh, wow. Okay. So what do I, what do I do here? Uh, I need to go control and I need to turn, bring this one. That one's coming. That's just coming out to me. That's just going to go left and right. Um, let's go like this. Let's hit enter. That's going to slide that one right up against there. There we go. Perfect. There we are. And just a little bit more to go here. And then the chicken coop will be taken care of. Oh, enter off of there. There we go. Like so. Thank you for all the great compliments and the comments. I do appreciate it very much. Holy crap, man. That's a lot of wood, huh? But we've done it. We've, we've got a chicken coop going. We're going to drop a few chickens in there. You guys have told me how to do it, and I'm going to go ahead and do it because I have no idea where chickens are, and I don't know how difficult it would be to, to get the chickens, so uh, we jumped in there. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to go squiggly line because I don't know what that's called. It's called spawn NPC space chicken. Spawn NPC chicken spawn chicken okay they are starting to separate a little bit okay then I want uh, I want one more I want one more There we go. So now we've got a few chickens in the yard. And let's finish this off.
There they are. <laughs> nice. Now, we had chickens like these. These were called heavyweights on the farm I grew up on. And, and they grew really fast and really big. So in like five months, you had full-grown chickens. And you could butcher those chickens and we could sell them and, and all that good stuff. We're going to go ahead and do that right here. Just to make sure they don't come out of there. And they, you know, it's just like any other bird. They, they go to sleep when the sun goes down. They wake up when the sun comes up. So we would have to actually go out there every morning and, and open the chicken coop door. And out they would come. And they would roam around the yard and stuff for the day. And then as soon as the sun would start to go down, they would go back into the chicken coop at night. So they've got a little chicken coop in there. There's no place for them to roost inside the chicken coop. But we do have a little chicken coop on the outside of the barn. So I hope you guys like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Let's see how that looks over here from a distance. Yeah, that fits in perfectly on the side of the barn, doesn't it? Now you can see I've got a lot of the trim work done uh, on the building. I do not have... Uh... Oh, let's, let's go with the bigger beam. Let's stretch it all the way out too. I do not have these guys put in here yet. Uh, that's the wrong button. There we go. I don't have these guys put in yet for the sole fact that I need to, I think, put some scaffolding up and uh, get up on there. But you can see the roof is on now, which is awesome. And let's go ahead and do this over here, too. There we go, like so. And we want them to come. If there's a great big wood beam up there right at the top. Well, that just to kind of meet up with that, just to make it look like it's fused in. And then we're going to shrink this one down right here. And I'll finish this one up on my own. Like so, yeah, beautiful. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Spin this around. We're going to hit enter twice. And it should almost, almost got it right there. Almost got it right. And we're good to go there too. So now we've got a little piece of trim right there. I could even add a little piece across the top there just to make it look a little bit better. And then I've also been adding one right along the inside edge here. But uh, I can do that on my own. I'll, I'll finish that trim out on my own. Let's take a look at this floor. We've got 17 of these left. Oh boy, I don't think that's going to be even nearly enough. I'm not going to be quite as anal about the floor. Oh, let's see. Okay, we've got the board going the wrong way here. We want it longer. And then we want it shorter. I think a, I think a slat like that would be really good, just like that. And then we're going to have to actually bring this down a little bit. And I'll do this too on my own. And then I'm going to take you around and show you what I've been doing here uh, today. Over the last day, I should say. We don't want we don't want to hit return. We we're gonna do this. I guess I am gonna do this floor like I did the floor in the house. We're gonna have a little a little bit of imperfection in here. And some uh, some grooves like that showing. A little bit of uh, a little bit of earth beneath it, you know what I mean? I think that uh, I think that looks really good when it does that. Oh, I love hearing the chickens, man. I love hearing the chickens. Thank you for that tip. I'm glad I finally got it. Those of you who uh, Kept commenting, saying no radio. It's it's spawn NPC, not spawn PC. That 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 was a that was a huge help. If I hit control, I could just move this out of here, can I? I sure can. Yeah, so we'll do that. All right, I will finish this floor on my own, and then I will bring you back. And I want to see. Oh, let me show you what I did first of all. Okay, I showed you the. Um, let me get an empty hand here real quick, so I don't have stuff popping up on the screen. Let's grab some apples. I think we're hungry. Yeah, we're thirsty too. Um, you can see I've got the little bit, a little bit of ladder over here. Since we don't have gates right now, we do need a way to get in and out of the animal penned area. So that's what I did. I put these little rickety ladders on both sides of it. And that's going to be kind of how we, uh, we get in and out for now. Eventually, hopefully, there'll be gates and we'll be able to put a gate up in here. And I think that'll be real handy. Uh, the rafters are in. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, make this end the loft. And I'll, I will uh, put a, a ceiling on this, a floor, I should say, a floor up in there for like a hayloft. And then what I will do is I will add a ladder up one of the side walls here so that we can get up into that. Well, it, it can't be on the side because when we get to the top, we're not going to have enough headroom. It's going to have to be on the side 
or somewhere along here, I will put a ladder up into the hayloft. Okay, so that's my idea there. So we got to have a hayloft that just makes sense that we would have one. Um, I've got the trim on the windows and the doors. I don't know why I picked that up. Uh, the windows and the doors. What are you doing? I, no, I'm, 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 I'm not on. I'm on three. There we go. That was weird. It kind of glitched there, didn't it? And the sides, I put small windows on the back because you don't want big windows on your barn. You want the heat staying in the barn. So I put small windows on the back side of it. And we've got to add more trim up underneath here and stuff like that. The roof went on lickety split. It's a great big dark beam that goes all the way across the rooftop. And then these guys meet up with it. Uh, the, the, the ceiling, or the roof, I should say. And it, 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 it went on, like I said, really quick. Just really fast. No problems at all. Oh, look at the chickens. Look at the chickens. Nice. We had four, right? There's one. Yeah. Yeah, our chickens would roam around all day long, and then they'd go back back into their chicken coop at night, and then they'd come back out in the morning. And then we had chickens, too, that were banny hens, and those guys actually roamed the whole yard at night. They would actually sleep up in the trees. They would go up in the trees. So the farm is coming along pretty nice. Now, out here, what I did was uh, the, the old... We kind of ended right here. So I moved this out just a little bit more. I, I created a little bit more earth out here for us to be able to uh, to fit a few more animals in here. I would like to get the two sheep that are out there. And then we've got a goat right there. And we're actually, we're going to do a little experiment with that goat right here and right now. I know they aggro on us. And I know they're going to come after us. Look at the, look at the garden, huh? Isn't the garden looking beautiful? And I still have to move the cotton and stuff like that. Uh, so there's still quite a bit of work here on the farm to do, as if there wasn't always a lot of work to do on the farm. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> do a little rolling pin action on that goat and just see if we can get away from it, first of all. I figure my, my plan here, this is my plan of attack. I hit the goat, the goat chases me, I run into the barn, I jump up those ladders, and I jump over the top. Now, we saw in the last episode, this cow right here ran through all kinds of stuff, and wound up running perfectly right into this little pendant area. So she got stuck. I'm going to see what this goat does. I may have to kill the goat. I don't know. Ooh, speaking of which, if I have to, I should probably have this handy as well. I don't want to kill the goat. I want to keep the goat in in the in the barnyard there. And uh, we should have... Yeah, there's a pig right over there too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah okay, he attacked. Oh, I'm bleeding. <gasps> I'm bleeding. I want to need a bandage. Dear Lord, things just got worse. I don't even know if that goat's chasing me or not. Oh, good, he did. Okay, inventory, uh, bandage, uh, three. You have used a bandage. Oh, I stopped bleeding. Oh, my God. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, why you carry bandages with you at all times. You never know. Now, are you still mad at me? Are you still mad at me? You don't look mad at me. You might be. Of all the animals, I get attacked by three bears, not a drop of blood. <laughs> I get I get hit by a goat, and I bleed like a stuck pig. No offense, pigs. Let's see if it's going to still be aggro on us, though, and come back out of the barn, or if it's going to stay in there, or what it's going to do. <laughs> I was bleeding. I was bleeding. Please don't be aggro anymore. Oh, it's it's still aggro. Oh god, it's still aggro. It's still mad at me. Ooh, you sir, you sir are a grumpy, grumpy goat. Do they ever de-aggro on us? I wonder. I don't know. I do not know. I think I can get the goat stuck in here, and maybe eventually, in time, it will change its mind about me and say okay okay you're all right <laughs> i don't know i don't know but it's still mad at me and it hurt me i know I, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm just you know okay let's see i think it's still aggro We'll see if it, it we'll see if it gets better, but right now I'm fairly certain this goat wants a piece of me. Huh? <laughs> okay. 
Uh, well, you can have a piece of me, goat. You can't. Uh, there's a pig over here, too. Let's let's try to get another pig. Just for the heck of it. Uh, if we don't get it, no big deal. I like that spawn-in feature. That's pretty nice. It's kind of a little bit cheaty, I think. But uh, the chickens are just so difficult to find. And they're so far and few between. That's right, piggy. Run. Come on, go. Go, go, go. That's it, piggy. Come on. Oh, you're running perfectly. No, 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 no. Not this way. Not that way either. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nope, 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 nope. Not down hill. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, nope. That's it. Back up the hill. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. And he is stuck. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh my god, I'm panicking. I'm panicking, people. Okay, I think he's done being uh, freaked out. He is. Okay, beautiful. That looks like the right size of post. The pig forgave me. I'm talking to the goat, by the way. <laughs> Dang pig forgave me. Well, that went pretty smooth, too, getting the pigs. The pigs seem to be a little bit easier, huh? I would say so. And enter. Boom, control, and enter a couple of times here, too, and snap. There we go. All right, so we've got two pigs now. That is awesome. Maybe we can get that one kind of pinned in back in that area. Yeah, that goat's still aggro on me. It, it turns and spins and looks at me every direction I travel. It's, it's mad. It is mad. I don't think it's going to ever lose that either, which is a little unfortunate, I think. I would kind of hope that it would, it would lose that, uh, that rage mode. I need another beam. Okay, goat and a pig. I guess the goat, we're just going to have to, you know, he's just going to have to stay mad at me. I don't know why it matters what post I use. I don't know why. It's just how I do things. These posts are going to go away anyways. We don't need that much. There we go. Two pigs, two cows. And a pissed off goat. <laughs> a perfect world, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect world. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me uh, let me finish up this floor, and then I'll bring you back. Welcome back. I just slept another night away. Yes, I did. The floor is in, and I put all the benches inside here as well. So we're good to go. And as you can see, there's imperfections again. This one I did drag. And all the way across, but it, it's got such a wider gap than the rest of it that it, it kind of fits in. You can see some of the boards don't line up. And so we've got that, that sort of, uh, you know, it's just imperfect. It, it's not it's not perfect. There's imperfections in the floor once again. Some of the boards list a little bit higher than the others and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I think that works out pretty good. So now it, it comes down to uh, decorating the inside of the building, you know. I may add another window right over here where the workstation is. I might add a window there just so we can look out at the garden. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now while I'm thinking about it. And do we have more of the beams? We've got the planks. Wow. Yeah, this this project has taken up a lot of wood, especially that, you know, you can see the chicken coop. Oh, where am I going? Saws right here. Boom, saw bench. Um, wood planks, beams. And let's see, where do we want this window to be? I think we want it to be right about here. Ooh, there's a nice view through there, huh? Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. That's a great view. 
Yeah, with the chickens here, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. There we go, and we just want to frame this in a little bit. We're gonna sh oop, do that again. We're gonna shrink that down just just a hair, and do that one right there. And I kind of guesstimate on these. That way, if there are imperfections in it, it looks good. No big deal. And we did that once, and we're gonna shrink this down. Like so, and it's pretty tough to see the wind. Oh, look at that. I can actually hop over the fence. That's nice. You go like that, and one right there. Just like that. We can look oh, out. Look, we look out at the chickens. Awesome. Oh, man. I'm just having so much fun. This is so cool. Yeah, I can see the chickens out here now. That is great. That is just great. Let's see. Let's go check on our goat. Look at him. It just dawned on me. He's inside the barn. Oh, beautiful. Love that. Let's see if that goat's still mad. <laughs> Hopefully he's not. Maybe we've been gone long enough to where he couldn't see us that his, he de -aggroed. It'd be, I'm kind of curious to just see how long they, they actually stay mad at you. Okay, he's done being mad. Hey. Hi there. What do you think? we got to get another one of you. Gotta have at least two goats. We got two cows. I'm happy with that. We've got two pigs. So as long as all the animals could breed, that'd be great. Now we don't have I don't know if we've got males or females. But uh, well these are female, obviously. But uh, you know. Maybe we had the neighbor farmer come over with his with his bull and we had some some baby calves and stuff like that, you know. That's how things work back then, you know. You gotta you gotta trade off a little bit. But look at there. Got us a pig in the barn. Yeah, a pig in the barn. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so excited about that. Uh, it's the little things in life, people. You gotta enjoy them, right? You gotta enjoy them. Let's look at the windows. Um, I want to go something simple with the windows in here. I think just a, just a square frame, like so. And how many of these do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nothing up there, so nine, nine. Okay, let's uh, let's let's get a couple of these sized up here, huh? Yeah, since everything's going so dang smoothly, and broaden that out a little bit, and we're actually going to go right up to that. Is this does it need, does not need to be turned anymore? Okay, and snap it in. There we go. Awesome. This is too wide. I love these windows. They just. Uh, they, they go in so nicely. There we go. And we've got another one right over here. Hey, chickies. Yeah, that's, that's a good window for this. This is a tiny one. So we can see what we're doing there. And wow, it's going to be tough to see that, huh? Um, you know what we need? You know what we need? We need just a block beneath each of these right here. There we go. And up we go. Perfect. Snap. Yeah, if, if you just got the game and you're just now getting into it, uh, if you're like me, you got to give yourself some time to really get used to the mechanics. But once you do, I got to tell you, this has been so much fun. <laughs> Uh, just because of the realism of everything and how things look, you know, I, these are actual pictures of stone walls and, you know, that's a, that's an actual picture of a pig, you know, and that's a cow and, and they look so real. It's just really incredible. And then the scenery is just absolutely beautiful in the game. They did a great job with that. Um, so I'm really enjoying it. And, and the, 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 uh, the minute details in the game too, with the, with the plant life, I think is just amazing. Um, yeah, I, I think it's really gorgeous. Like the cherry tree. I mean, just look at the cherries on it. It looks beautiful. It really does. With the bark and everything. 
I, I, I went ahead and chopped up one of the pumpkins and got some more seeds. So we have another pumpkin there and we have another one here. Uh, next project, I think what we really need to get going on... Oh, let me grab a little bit of water here real fast. And I'm excited about it. Uh, number one, the pasture. One, number one is all the decorating of the landscape. We definitely want to get involved in that and get that taken care of. Uh, the cotton farm is going to go right up in here, and I think right next to it, I'm going to put in the tomatoes. Uh, we'll have a small cotton area right here, and a small tomato area right up here, and we'll fence it in and leave it up on this ridge right here. Do I still have my rake on me? I do. Okay, excellent. I'm seeing it. I want to give us enough room to be able to walk along here. Let's go ahead. And Chop some of this grass down here real fast. Left kick, click to bring the ground down, everybody. Just in case you didn't know. So if we keep ourselves in a nice straight trajectory right here. Like so. There we go. There we go, perfect. Okay, so here's, here's our cotton. Okay cotton in this area. Have to bring this up just a hair. We're going to want nice uh, nice square areas for the plants. Okay, so cotton here and then we do a second plot. Uh, maybe not quite as big because we do have our spruce trees. As you can see, they've grown up now. Doesn't that make that mountain look just a little bit better back there? I think it does. I think they're beautiful. And like I said before, I have not been able to grow a single spruce tree that looks like, um, let me show you. I found that very interesting too, because I was kind of expecting the spruce trees to have kind of a different look to them, each of them, but they don't. These guys right here. Now, I don't know if, if, if after a period of time, if these lower branches fall off and the tree continues to grow, I don't know. But these guys right here, I've never planted a spruce tree that has come up with this, um, with that, because spruce trees do this, they lose their lower limbs. They just continue to die off after, you know, many, many, many years. And uh, so I've not grown any of these, but I've grown a ton of these guys here. And these guys actually take less to knock down and they give you less material as well. But they are quick to knock down. I think it's uh, six to eight hits with an ax on these spruce trees and they come down and another six to, uh, to break off the, um, to break them up. So you can actually harvest the material out of them. But uh, it looks a little bit better. And I think I'm going to add a couple right up in here and maybe one or two right on the hillside there just to have a, a couple of different trees up on the mountainside. And we'll get, we'll get a few trees up on that mountainside. So it looks a little bit better. Right now it looks a little bit barren, you know. But now we've got it kind of tucked away and hidden with uh, those spruce trees. So I think they turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with the location of the farm. Hey, Billy. <laughs> you're not mad at me no more. Very good. No, you're not. He shook his head no. What a good goat. What a good goat. Oh, there's the roosters crowing. Oh, boy. So, yeah, next episode we will get the cotton planted, the tomatoes planted, and get this all fenced in kind of like it is right here. And then we'll get this farm uh, spread out as well. The watermelons are not going to go in here, neither are the pumpkins. This is all going to be carrots, potatoes, the broccoli, and the lettuce plants in this area here. We may have a couple of watermelons just to add some color in here. But uh, other than that, uh, the watermelons are going to be kind of uh, spread out around the, the property to give it a good look. The other thing I want to do is I do want to, and this is, a, this is kind of a big project to think about, but starting from where the fence is right there, I would like to run the fence straight down this way all the way down and I don't know that I will level out this ground or anything like that I think I might just go with the flow of how the land goes and bring it down to here and then come straight across with it and have this have it run along the property line back over to the mountain there and have this kind of fenced in all the property just to give it that look I don't know if I want to do that completely because I do enjoy this openness but at the same time there is a bear right over there and at some point in time he may decide he wants to come up the hill I don't know What is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just got mooned by Big. <laughs> hey, Radio, check me out. You took my friends. <laughs> we got mooned by a pig. Oh, my God. That is funny. All right. Um, so those are some of the plans for the future for our... Uh, Medieval Farmstead here. I, I, like I said, i got to fix this, and I'll probably even rework the, the outhouse a little bit, too. I don't know. It's just an outhouse, right? You know, We're just going to the bathroom in it, for God's sake. 
not much to do there. And uh, but uh, yeah, so so a little more work to do on the farmstead for sure. Then all this landscaping and stuff. We're gonna have a real good time with the landscaping, you guys. A really good time with that. That's gonna be a lot of fun to add trees and bushes and uh, grass and stonework and stuff like that and retaining walls. But the barn, I think she looks pretty sharp. I think she looks pretty sharp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the barn. There we go. I think I need to add a few pieces of trim on the side walls and stuff like that to kind of, sh like we did on the house, you know, the, the house has got, um, you know, all these pieces of trim. We should probably do a little bit of that on the barn. Not as much. It's not as, uh, I guess, tall a structure as the house is. It's, it's a little less structure involved in it, but, uh, I like it. I like the way it turned out. We've got a workshop up front and then we've got, uh, you know, uh, animal area in the back. So, uh, yeah, everything's working out perfectly. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I sure would appreciate it if you hit that like button for me. I would appreciate it very, very much. I thank you, as always, for your time. You are amazing, and I appreciate it very much. And the support for the series has been fantastic. I'm the Radio Man 3 Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And have an awesome, fantastic, and superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.